Okay, so a rebatch of the first game. The guy who is chasing it again, it is nameless. I know at, at this point, Lazy Titan must know that something is up. Lazy Titan has got to have at the back of his mind the guy who's on the bottom, <coughs> the guy who has some hope of still getting out of this group. Like he has to know some shenanigans is up. Like that was two games in a row, Protoss versus Protoss. I sense that um, Lazy Titan was just, or rather Nameless was just uh, going for it. Or rather, I, I, okay, let me rephrase. I'm very certain Nameless did not want to play PvP. He wanted to play anything else but PvP. <laughs> he wanted to play PvZ, as he put it in the group chat. Okay, so okay, so Nameless comes here. He sees there's nothing. I would immediately throw down a pilot at the side, um, just for warp bits later. But it is, yep. <coughs> okay, when I see this as a product, I immediately throw down my own forge, simply because you you have to. Okay, he blocks it off this time. It's a little bit. It's it's something. Um. I, I don't think I agree with the second gateway. Yeah, you, you need the cybercore more than the gateway, but this putting it here is so risky because the cannons are going to go down. There we go. How do you respond? You can't shoot it. The only way... Okay, so so this pylon is much closer to the front line. It's going to buy him some time. You need the cybercore because all the counters to this is effectively in the... Um, well, rather, all the counters to this is in the robo. It's in the stargate. Zealots alone are not gonna cut it because you, it's gonna be Zealots versus Cannons and he has none of that. Okay, they're gonna start okay, making a better decision. You're not gonna be unpowered as easily. But that's the thing. Nameless is gonna get up in this corner and then he's gonna be able to throw down a pylon and continue the cannon rush. Okay, once the Adept gets up, that's a huge boon. The Adept can get across the map, it can do damage. He should get warp gate, I would say. Okay, shield battery going down, a good decision too. <coughs> okay, he should. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Get the, get the pylon. Get the pylon. Okay. Oh man, lazy time. Like it's very unfortunate because all he got to play in this game was PvP. I mean, he did get quote unquote a free win because somebody didn't show up. Okay, but then go all the gateways. Now what? There's no Robo. There's no <coughs> um, Stargate. Again, what void way effectively shuts this down? Okay, Robo's going down, but no, you needed a pylon on the back line. <coughs> you need to take down this. You need to take. Oh man, there's too many things he, he needs to do. He needs to jump out this. If this cannon finishes, that will allow him to just anchor this position to an un unacceptable level. Both sides are equal workers, but he's buying a lot of gas. Like lazy tight. What do you need this much gas for? You getting DTs? No, pull everything else, go go to workers. Like again, once this robo facility is done, I think it might be a bit too late. Too many too many workers on the on, on gas. He's back here, 500, 600 gas. But Hell! Shade out the Okay, this is bad. You, no, the Adept can't win. More getting pulled off, but it's not really enough. This is unpowered too. Once this thing goes down, it's effectively GG. <coughs> yeah, like that one. This is not enough. The depth is too low to realistically be able to continue the fight. The cans are just gonna inch forward. More zealots are gonna be on the way. Oh dear, GG. <coughs> Again, too many, too many workers on gas. See, that's the thing. Like dealing with the cannon rush is one of the hardest things in SC2. So I do not blame him for that. You do need quite a bit of experience watching and playing StarCraft to be able to... to do it. This is why people like Haas get so unbelievably high on the on their respective ladders. Oh man, I, I I do pity lazy tight like he signed up for this tournament, he was you know happy he came here, he helped he helped out and he's just getting his ass cheese cheese to him. 
I, I just think he doesn't have as much experience. Well, Nameless obviously has been can rushing a little bit. <coughs> um, Nameless has been can rushing a bit, so he 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 needs to do a lot of things. You need like if you get your own forge, at least it allows you to get your own cannons to to balance it out. <coughs> you can get your own cannons to balance it out. <coughs> okay, so in the meantime, what is happening in the other group? I think everybody else is playing. Um, okay, depending on how this goes, I might be able to cast at least one match from group B, whichever one opens up. Um, but if not, at least we would have, we would have casted group A. Um, again, the three matches casted... The first match, the winners, and the deciders were what I planned to cast live all the way. Um, it just so happens that group match one didn't play since it was a DQ, so we followed match two, same thing. And then we've got throughout the whole thing as well. Alright, so spawning in the bottom of Simulacrum, downtown, down the map, and down the series. I really hope he gets a win on the board. It is Lazy Titan. And cheesing his opponent again. <coughs> it is. Setting a Pomod on the map and spawning at the top, it is nameless. <coughs> like, you know, at, at this point, you might as well, like, send two probes across the map and just, like... I hope he saw this. I really hope he saw this. Oh, this is a devastating position. Because you could put, like, two cannons of shoe battery on the low ground. Then you rush a probe up, you throw down two pylons on the high ground. Because if you're lazy titan, you don't know this is coming. See? No idea. No vision. Like, this has been done several times at the professional level. What's he getting? I I'm gonna guess it's the same thing because there's no gas. <coughs> he sees it. Uh-huh. He goes home. Yep, I'm not sure about the spacing because the spacing is a big deal in this kind of pylon wars. Okay, Lazy Titan has adjusted. He's gotten a damn forge. <coughs> He knows that the can rush like you put one stupid Like see here's the thing. Uh the forges are gonna be finishing at give or take the same time, which means the cans are gonna go down at the same time. It means that the top cannon on the high ground is gonna finish before the zealots get up the ramp. <coughs> okay, so he's adjusted, he's putting down his cannons, okay. He must be feeling good about himself, like, I have played... I remember I lost against a, a kind of stupid cheese as a Terran, and I got the exact same opponent the next match. I was like, oh no, oh no, oh hell no. <coughs> I'm gonna take you down. Like, way down. See, his cannon's finished, so this... That's why I say, you get a forge. This rush is ha... Okay, actually, if you focus down um, the pylon... Is it another pylon? No, okay, it's a cannon. If you focus down this pylon, it might have depowered enough. <coughs> okay, Daisy Titan needs to continue producing workers. Both sides need to continue producing workers. Because it's down by the economic game. This is hell. He should cancel... He should cancel both of these cannons because they're not going to do him any good. This is overkill. Okay, so we are getting a little bit of a longer PvP, I'm, I'm happy to say. Okay, he cancelled at least one. Four cannons is it's, it's overkill. He needs to build another pylon right away, because I think some of these are... Uh, I disagree. Okay, so the question now is, what was Nameless's transition? What was plan B? Okay, Lazy Titan is still thinking there's going to be an all-out assault, but it's not, it's a second base. And I, I, I cannot agree with all of this, because a lot of these defensive works are not what he needs to win the game. He needs, like, all of this is, is a couple of gateways. It's a robo. Okay, Stargate, that's, that's something. There's nothing in the middle of the line. <coughs> this is the kind of counter-attack damage that you need to do. Uh, something got cancelled, I don't know what it was. <coughs> Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 150. That's 800 minerals in cannons. 
like two would have been enough to hold the ramp. Okay, he didn't know that. He maybe should have scouted, but he couldn't really do that either. He might be worried that there's a robot on the way. That would have justified this many, but I think like you take away two, you're still okay. Okay, the workers, the zealots have gone home. A blaze titan is ahead in workers, but he's got no way to get down this ramp. <coughs> he needs to kill his uh Okay, okay, that's nice. Knocking these out of power. I think he should no, he should fly the Oracle away from this. Because okay, very clever. Lazy uh Nameless getting down a shield battery in the middle line. Nothing on the natural, so there's still a chance for him to do damage on the natural. Oh, does he see it? Yeah, okay, he had he might see it, I don't know if he does. Um, the main base is effectively protected, but the natural might be able to get a good few worker kills for his troubles. Another oracle going out. Okay, he needs to nuke down this and either... Yeah, he needs a transition. Warp gate is on the way. Significantly faster. Okay, he gets... Good, good, good. He goes to the natural. He gets a few workers. Okay, but this is not going to get anything done because of that shield battery. Okay, good decision. He loops back. He looks for that last probe. He gets it. <coughs> Maybe take down the Zealot too. Okay, but again, Nameless is going to be a hit very, very soon. He's got double the worker production. <coughs> He's going to be fine. Okay, Stalkers are being produced. Okay, now he takes down this pylon. I mean, he just got it down with his own cannons. Immortal on the way. Um, I actually think skipping this and going straight for a Void Ray would have been better. But again, it's, it's so hard to say, isn't it? <coughs> so it is two warp gate against two warp gate. Uh, I think this is a little bit of a miss. Okay, no. If this stalker had stared and fought, it would have been worthwhile because this knocks out um, the gateways, and it's really about it's really all about the units at this point. Okay, Nameless is not producing workers. That is what he absolutely needs to do. He's floating a ton of minerals. He's probably thinking, okay, what do I do next? What do I do next? Okay, good. Dis uh, actually, I, I disagree because you can go up to 26 workers as Protoss and still be mining more than you would at 14. Um, Alpha Star proved it. That's so funny seeing this. Like, it's like watching a train go through the mountains. <coughs> uh, that's a slow warp in, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely a slow warp. He needs a gateway here right now. Oh, Oracles are back! Okay, with the double Oracle, he's be able to get some damage done. Three, four, but he's gonna lose an Oracle! Oh, come on, you know I'll lose an Oracle. Okay, four workers. Daisy Titan still ahead in workers, but Nameless has gone back to that um, dual production. Wait, what? Two all the way. Okay, he's gone back to that dual production. He's trying to catch up. Um, these gateways not really doing anything. I don't know if. Okay, it was partially transforming, that's why. It's kind of funny, in uh, the Wings of Liberty campaign, you reactivate some warp gates and then immediately units warp in, like what the hell? And the in-law reason is, oh, we were warping in and then it got cancelled. Never mind. Actually, no, never, I'm, I'm gonna talk about it. So, that would imply that in the law, he's gonna get more workers. There's no end here. The stalkers are way out of position. He's gonna get a few more workers. I don't know if it's worthwhile for the energy, but again, eco damage is eco damage. Lazy Titan is way ahead. He's producing workers. He's still scared. He's still very scared. You know, shield battery is going down. A gateway. A gateway to boot. <coughs> Oracle shocking around. He's got map control. He even has an observer. He army supply is even, but our uh, units. What the heck? Okay, the majority of Nameless's army supply is in his stalkers, which he needs to ward off the oracles. At the same time, he's falling behind on. Wait, he's got two observers. Okay, he's falling behind on the immortal count, <coughs> which is probably the more important thing, generally speaking. Oh, an update from the other group. Let's see what happens. <coughs> it seems that Scuffy has advanced. 
Okay, Dablis is gonna launch an attack, but he's down in army supply. The oracles are still out of the map. Um, oh yeah, he lost the forge, so no cannons. Lazy Titan still has his forge, she's getting his plus one. In fact, he could just move up when plus one finishes and probably just kill Lazy Titan. Um, unless Dablis has some pretty damn good micro, she's not gonna be able to break this. Although, funnily enough, he, he's got the Observer, he looks at this, he just nopes out of here. He could go into the main though. If he had elevated units up here, I think he could have gotten a decent amount of damage done. But again, so many cannons. He's taking a third base. Probably the wiser decision that he could make. Anyway, talking about the law, like in Wings of Liberty, again, um, when you go back to Aya Zero Tool, you activate a warp gate, units warp in. <coughs> But the warp gate was only invented after the first Great War, aka Brute War. So it seems that the Protoss were running some sort of covert ops campaign on Aya itself, and that operation got shut down. Oh, well, that's the interpretation I have of the, uh, of the law. Okay, okay, he's gone. Oh, look at these, five immortals. <coughs> like, that's the difference of having five, five tanks against two. He's taking the base here, the more forward base, more aggressive. Um, he's very, very far ahead in workers, both from the kills and from the fact that he uh, has just been producing more consistently. You know, now he's got his forge, he's got his plus one. I don't think... Yeah, okay, Lazy Titan not getting his next set of upgrades, so he might fall a little... Okay, he's now gotten his plus two armor to his plus one. Revelation going down, he can see the entire army. Let's look at the vision of Lazy Titan. Oh, it's good. He sees the third base. He's got a tag on the army. Where were his observers? His observers? One of them is here. Uh, where's his alter observer? Oh, it died. Never mind. <coughs> okay, Nameless also lost his observer, so we're getting a proper PvP. Oh, look at all this. Four Archons. Six Immortals. The rest of the supply and a lot of Zealots. How many doesn't matter. <coughs> Okay, loses an oracle. Um, um, he's probably intending to revel later, but he knows the army is there. Oh man, if he walks in here, he snipes down this um, this pylon. Defender's advantage disappears. Oh no. Okay, he decides to smash hit first into the army. He can't afford to, although this army is going to retreat back. But there are no shoe batteries. Okay, force fields going down, delaying it. Uh, this might be a situation where he might... Okay, but again, the sheer number of immortals, another one joining the fray. The Archons and Immortals holding strong, um, losing probes due to the harassment. Well, it's just too much. It's double the army supply, almost. Double the technical army supply to put, and oh gosh, it's effectively GG. <coughs> this is something. We are on match point. We are going to the deciders' deciders. What time is it now? I don't know. Okay. It is. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so even Lazy Tide saying this matchup is a joke. <coughs> I don't disagree. Even at the highest levels, SOS stats, like those is really stupid game in the GSL when I think it was I can't remember who. They they proxy <coughs> Robo Bays right out of vision of each other. Like as the observer you bounced over, you can see both of them on the same screen. Is it possible to have a draw in anything that's not a tavern matchup? <coughs> it's technically possible, right? Like, if you have like three probes, I, I, I... Who the hell are you? What the heck is this and why are you here?
Who's this person? And why has he joined our lobby? Um, I don't know why he's there. I don't know. Okay, so CXO is the host. Uh, wait, what? What's what the hell is going on? Okay, he's left the lobby. That's fine. I don't know why they say that they're in the. Uh, I <coughs> Okay, so lazy tight to dose the guy I could vouch him. Please start, please start, please start. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna go and change a quick second while this thing loads up. interesting situation because if I understand it correctly okay so so based on what I saw Scruffy has advanced from the other group uh, it's not done Okay, that means CXO will be facing off against... Okay, we don't know the bracket for the finals just yet. It looks like... Yeah, four gateways, another cheese against... Okay, he's caught in a cannon right off the... A forge right off the bat. He knows like, oh, no, 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 this guy... This guy is cheesy. Actually, you come up here, you see the forge, I'm like... Cancel, cancel, and go home. Back, go out. <coughs> no, I, 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 I. <coughs> Maybe he just wants to like stop this painful experience. I wouldn't blame him for doing so. <coughs> um, again, apologies for not catching those gateways previously. I had to help admit. Um, the defensive. Zealot is here, on the other side of the walls for a change. I'm definitely going to be able to see and... You know, everything else that's on the on the field. Okay, but two cans are done. There is no way these three Zealots are going to get anything done. Okay, very good. He's taking his gases. He's getting a pylon at home. He knows that this is over. Again, the moment I saw the fort, I would have cancelled two of the gateways and just gone home. Put up a cyber core here. Try to get the tech done. Lazy Titan getting his own thing down. I'm gonna guess that Stargate. Okay, this is a lot of shield batteries. This is... No, no, this is a lot of cans. I think 30 would have been enough. 
But uh, again, I know that there isn't going to be a mass of zealots. But again, he... how many zealots can realistically break through this? One, two, three, four, five, maybe? Five can attack the wall. Two, one or two can attack the pylon, which is the easiest way to get through. <coughs> like, okay, but, but he's not going to die to the bullshit in game one. Uh, he has prepared for that. Adept coming out. Okay, so there's a lot of... Ah, uh, this is a good question. What is he going to do now? Stargate going down here. Proxy. <coughs> oh dear, unlike the last game, he hasn't gotten anything to defend against. It's like, you put one cannon, automatic defense against uh, Oracle. Automatic. But that's not going down. He doesn't know about this. Why? 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 Why would he? Um, okay, it's not going to be out of time. You chrono out the. Um, yeah, he didn't make a stalker either. You chrono out the oracle. It will not be enough to stop. The shield battery won't be done in time. Neither will the cannon. This is honestly too late. Like the one thing you need to do, if the moment your cheese either fails or does not do enough damage. Terran, Terran as well. You need to get anti-air in your middle of line. Like I have so painfully lost. Like I once did a 2x proxy marauder and I just died because Oracle. I had no missile turret, nothing. Okay, so Nameless knows this. This is too late. He's gonna pay for his mistakes and I would not blame him for just GG out now. Okay, he hides in the assimilator, probably the best that he can do, but he's still going to take horrendous, horrendous losses. Um, yeah, I just didn't see this. Oracle's like, oh, how did you? I'm going to... Oh, I'll be back. <coughs> and... Okay, well, a bit of an irony, because this guy's out there, he's not going to get anything done. I take that back, I did not even... Yep. <coughs> Okay, so now we're in a similar position to game one, whereas Nameless has gotten a lot more out. But at the same time, Lazy Titan's going to be ahead in tech. Uh, and he's ahead in workers by a lot, but two bases to one. Immortal's getting out there. Oh yeah, I forgot, Nameless never got his forge. Uh, you could still get a Phoenix right now. Shoot down Warp Prism. Okay, a slight mistake not putting this down. I made that mistake too, playing against Zerg, that was painful. Uh, one Immortal out right now. I have another 15 minutes before I need to leave. <coughs> um, it would be a miracle if that match lasts longer than that. Uh, something got shot out of the sky. I'm gonna guess it's the Oracle. Hold on. Oh, he's... <coughs> okay, so overall it looks like Lazy Titan has lost more in terms of minerals. But again, workers. Actually, what is the income advantage? Does it exist? It's even. It's even. Okay, Lazy Titan's not mining as much. Nameless is not mining as much gas, but in terms of minerals, he's ahead. The thing about Protoss, you kind of need more gas. Kind of. You need more gas. These warp gates still unscouted, still being able to power through. He's being shooting away, next base going up. Again, once. Okay, still producing workers, a good habit. Oh man, the games I've lost. Uh, this warp gate not in pylon range. Um, a bit of a pickle because once you throw down another pylon, um, it kind of blocks away. You might want to blow up your own cannon in that case. Very, very similar to the first game. But again, this time, Lazy Titan, he's not slipped on his worker production. He's now caught back up in workers. Um, he's supply blocked, but uh, it happens. Oh dear, he's gonna lose all this infrastructure. He needs to rebuild this immediately. Wait, is he gonna find this? You know, he can! That, oh, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. Wait, something's happening here. <coughs> okay, the four Zelts from earlier sneaking into the base, but... How many are they gonna get? Three? Four? Oh, they're attempting to run. Um, I don't know about this. Okay, they all die ultimately we start a fight and these, the, the reinforcing army is not there on time. If he threw down like a pylon here, we powered all of this, he would have the warp gates, he could throw down a couple of shield batteries. 
you could take such a fight from there, but as well as there's nothing, maybe with some more physical stuff, things could get done. Stargates has outlived its usefulness. Oh, charge all the way. Robo not doing anything. Workers count is now even. Nameless is not mining gas. Or not mining as much gas. Twilight Council going down. Okay, so he'll be able to spend um, his gas bank. He's going to be collecting a lot more. Ah, uh, Warp Prism? Oh, that would be so cool. Like, fly over here, power it up, give it one round of Warp Pins, and then leave. Oh man, this is just... Th that would have been so, so cool. Like, fly the Prism over, Warp it in, leave. Uh, okay, but Observer gonna go across the map and probably gonna see all of this. Yep, he sees it out there. <laughs> yep, we confirm. He even clicks and looks at it, so he knows that this is there. Third base going up. <coughs> Lazy Titan playing for the long game, but again, supply wise favors him, but um, production, production, production. Can we see structures? I actually don't know how. Whatever, so there are three warp prisms, four warp gates here. There are th four warp gates here. It's very, 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 very even. Um, nameless, no, Lazy Titan, however, getting his plus one armor done faster. Uh, I think the window is kind of closed. Like, this attack can't really do anything else. It's too risky to attack in any one position. Power these gateways. Okay, but still, Nameless mining more in minerals by a couple hundred, but again, not too much to affect the game in a, in a bad way. Yeah, I'm running out of time. Okay, I got 10 more minutes. This game has lasted a bit longer than I expected. Both sides just posturing against each other. Uh, base now for Lazy Titan completed. He needs to transfer the workers though. Only then will the economic advantage really, really kick in. Um, both sides even. Wait, okay, so, okay, good. Nameless has transferred his workers first. <coughs> no, <coughs> they'll be about the same time. So it's extraordinarily even. <coughs> Again, all these cannons are like resources that are not really going to do anything. Warp prism going down. Uh, still oversaturated a bit here. Oh, enemy warp prism getting in but killing only a couple of probes. What's inside? Two adepts. Uh, okay, flies right by the immortal. Oh, a couple of missed shots. One more probe. Two more probes, two more probes, okay. Recall. Recall. Okay, he recalls it out. <coughs> like the robo facility is just like a hell of a bottleneck. In terms of upgrades, let's check it again. Okay, so <coughs> Lazy Titan's charge is ahead and he's got plus one armor, however that will even out very very soon. With plus one attack and um, Okay, plus two armor being researched. Okay, I think here's the big attack. He is down in army supply though. He has four immortals to... Actually, I can just press this button. Four immortals to five. This attack... Unless he gets like a beautiful outflanking position, it's not gonna work. <coughs> okay, maybe if he hits before the upgrade, but the upgrade is just about to finish. This like he might click on this and think he has a small chance of victory and lose everything. The upgrade is now done. The upgrades are even. Defender's advantage dictates that Nameless should win, but the force fields are good. This is a hell of an awkward fight, but at the same time, the shield battery is keeping everything else alive. Oh, the probe's being pulled. <coughs> Army supply for Nameless just dropping through the floor. If you only you had power these. But you did it. Um, okay, it looks like I don't fully understand how, but it looks like um, Lazy Titan has taken this and unfortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, Lazy Titan gets the revenge, he gets the uh, sweet. How? how? How do you win after this? 
how do you get back into this? Yeah, Prison Michael, that's something, but fall space is going up. You'd have to do the most insane Michael anyone has ever seen. And, and just crazy harassment all to get ahead. He's floating a lot of money, but that's not going to count for much. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. How many gateways here? Four. Four plus two. Yeah, I... <coughs> I think I just came out to the force fields. You know, better army control. Okay, I think this is effectively the killing blow. He's down in everything. The other upgrade has just finished and... Uh, poor Nameless. He played the last tournament, almost got out. Played in this tournament, almost got out. But in the end, he will be eliminated. GG, Ted. Nope, GG.